Hey guys, October top 10 beauty edition here today. Let's not waste time. Let's get into it. The first product is from a brand called Little Herbs Co. It's a small business. I believe it's a black owned business and I bought this off of Etsy. I bought it categorically because all the reviews for Little Herbs Co. were phenomenal and a lot of them were problem specific. So people who had dry, itchy skin, eczema, even babies that had eczema. There was a photo of like a before and after a while of using this flower bomb oil and I was really impressed so I decided to give it a go. I do have drier skin. I'm currently trying to figure out some skin issues I'm having and I just needed something that was going to be nourishing, hydrating, not sticky and also kind of help with irritation and itch and all of this does that. The ingredients are phenomenal, really clean to the point ingredients list, no additives, no fragrances. They have a beautiful array of flowers in there too that are kind of floating around. So it's aesthetically very pleasing. It's lightweight, it soaks into the skin beautifully. It gives a really nice glow, but you can get dressed pretty soon after without getting oil all over your clothes. This also has tea tree oil, which is amazing because tea tree oil is technically like an antifungal oil as well. So if you do have skin issues or just irritation that's just a great oil to have added into this treatment and there's no coconut oil which I love eating coconut oil but I don't really like it on the body it can kind of irritate and clog the skin a little bit because it's not non comedogenic I just think that this is a really impressive oil I use it all over my body it's awesome another oil is the Biosense 100% squalene oil I put it all over my body while I am like soaking wet out of the shower I do not dry off this and the flower bomb oil just go all over it soaks in so beautifully it keeps my skin hydrated it's lightweight and I just really love the way it makes my skin feel you can absolutely add this or the other oil into any body moisturizer um, facial moisturizer even if you wanted to but squalene is really good and highly absorbable into the skin this one is derived from sugarcane and it's just a great product the fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm I am literally almost done with this. It lasted me so long though because it's such a thick hydrating lip balm. It does come in a pot which I know is not the most sanitary of situations but I use this at night. I'll slather my lips and I actually wake up the next morning with it still on my lips. Even on days when I just want a light lip balm or something a little bit glossy but no color, this is what I reach for because it does have a really pretty shiny gloss finish but it is a lip balm so it's also hydrating and very comfortable it also smells like a dream it's delicious they come in different colors or scents and I kind of have my eye on the peach one because I believe it's got a little bit of a milky tint to it but the caramel one is the OG it's such a good lip balm so this foundation is not new and I have been using it for quite a while but I have fallen back into love with it it's the Becca skin love weightless blur foundation it has so much coverage it truly is weightless and it is very matte so if you have very dry skin really prep your skin with a good facial oil or a heavy moisturizer and then go in with this or if you have oily skin this is going to be great because it lasts all day you need the tiniest amount and the coverage is so good that it really evens out your complexion so nicely and that blurring effect is a thing. It's the foundation I have on today. It's what I've been wearing in my most recent videos going back and all my info of makeup worn is always in the info box if you are ever curious. The colors that I use are olive and maple, mostly olive and I just put a touch of maple in depending on how tan I am or how fair I am. I am literally using a pea size or less of this foundation. I put it between my fingers and warm it up and then I just pat and rub it in and I love using my fingers with it because I feel like it heats the product up and I can really get it to melt into my skin. I wouldn't go overboard with this because I think that the texture and the coverage, if you do too much with it, will give you a little bit of a cakey look like around any significant creases on your face, but you don't really need that much and I love that it gives you coverage while the skin looks and feels still like skin. Laura Mercier Translucent powder in the new shade honey. I used to use the Laura Mercier translucent powder for the longest time but then other loose powders came out and pressed powders that I liked better and I found that I didn't really use this anymore 
but it's back and this honey shade is gorgeous if you have a medium to deeper skin tone. It is this amazing warm yellow and I love that it is a little more golden than a lot of your typical like banana powders. And I like that because I already have a lot of yellow and green undertones in my skin. And so anything that's too yellow kind of makes me look a little like I have jaundice and I don't need help looking like that because I already am pretty yellow. So this I feel just adds a really good balance of that yellow undertone, but a little bit of warmth to kind of even out or color correct my skin tone, I guess, add a little bit of warmth back into it without making me look orange or Oompa loompa -y. to set the whole face or even to buff out the whole face, including the under eye area. I do use this and it's such a great powder. I have the smaller size and truth be told, I own so much makeup that the smaller size is working out just fine for me. I also don't go overboard with this, especially because this is a little bit of a more matte kind of drier powder than other powders I own. They do have it in a bigger size and overall it's just a great powder. Again, especially if you have like a medium somewhere around my skin tone, a little bit deeper and maybe one or two shades lighter. The Makeup by Mario Master Pigment Pro Pencil in the shade The Perfect Brown is truly the perfect brown eyeliner. The Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayons are my absolute holy grail eyeliner, but this has kind of been giving Marc Jacobs a little bit of a run for its money, and that is saying something. This is the one that I have been using every single time I do my makeup since getting my Makeup by Mario package. I did an entire video review and try on kind of tutorial on the Makeup by Mario line. I'll leave that linked somewhere here or down below in the info box. It really is the perfect brown. It's such an amazing neutral brown where it's just warm enough and just cool enough that you can wear it with pretty much any and every makeup look. I have it on right now. It's a wooden pencil, which yes, you have to sharpen it, but honestly, I really enjoy wooden pencils because it maintains the creaminess of the pencil from start to finish because the wood holds the moisture in versus an automatic pencil lets air in sometimes so they dry out a little bit. I'm barely holding it, right? Here it is. It's wiggling in my hand. I have it swatched on before but ready look at that just one swipe I better stop doing that because now these are literally not going to leave my hand. But you can see how pigmented, how creamy it is. You can also now see the color and the fact that it really is such a flattering brown shade. The last thing that I think really makes it stand out for me is the brush. So it is a flat, thinner, rectangular brush. It's so soft and it's just a really high quality brush. So it never irritates the eyes. It never scratches the eyes. And it really does a good job of blending out the eyeliner and because of the shape, you can get a really pretty wing when you use the brush to kind of shape your liner. I am so impressed. I hope there are more eyeliner colors coming. And just to show you guys, I literally put the liner down just now and I have a makeup wipe here. Like you really have to get in there and I just laid it down. One thing I forgot to mention about the liners is that when you apply them, you have a little bit of time to play around with them, smudge them out, shape them. But once they're locked in, they're locked in for life. No, just until you like really wash it off. I've talked about this lip liner before, but I feel like I have to talk about it again because I use it also literally almost every single time I wear my makeup. And it is the KKW lip liner in Nude 1.5. I have it on today with a couple other products. For my skin tone, this is just such an amazing mid-tone medium brown where it gives my lips such nice definition and it's also, in my opinion, kind of neutral where depending on what you wear it with, it can lean cool or warm. It works with every lip color. Like I pair this with stuff that I would never have thought to pair it with and it somehow works. It is a sharpening pencil liner, which again, I enjoy because it keeps the product really creamy. It applies so smoothly. It's so long wearing and there's tons of different lip liner colors. I love some of the other ones too, like the deeper browns, but Nude 1.5, She's the girl, she's the one. This is newer to my collection, but I'm so impressed by it. It's the Juvia's Place Lip Gloss in 
barely there. And first of all, get into this packaging, okay? Juvia's Place in general, if you haven't tried it, I would 100% go right now to their website or the Ulta website and purchase some of it because every single thing that I've tried from them is amazing. Concealers, eyeshadows, blushes, highlighters, lip products now, including this lip gloss. And I actually am wearing two of the Juvia's Place lipsticks, which I'll leave everything linked down below. They have a clear with glitter line of like four shades. And then they have tinted, I think four or five shades. It's the most buttery, non-sticky, almost hydrating formula. It's like the best version of the NYX Butter Glosses. If you know, you know. If you've never tried the NYX Butter Glosses, try these because these feel longer wearing and you get a lot more product right off of the bat. They just feel better, like they actually are hydrating my lips. The doe foot applicator is huge and you get a lot of product on it, which I love. It's it's just such a nice formula and look how pigmented but still shiny that is if you just apply less you can get a lot of shine with just less pigment like I have it on today and I have just the tiniest bit of it on if you're missing out on Juvia's place you really are missing out because all their stuff is so good so affordable so high quality so pigmented and this gloss is no exception and I want to buy all of them they're gonna be my new Pokemon gonna catch them all. From Makeup by Mario, the Master Mattes Eyeshadow Palette. This is another item where every single time I do my makeup, I cannot not use this. It's the only eyeshadows I have on today. It's just such an amazing nude eyeshadow palette. The quality of the eyeshadows is incredible. They're so creamy, so buttery, so easy to apply. And while they are matte and buttery, they blend out so evenly and just effortlessly they're some of the most user-friendly matte eyeshadows i have tried and i love the tones and the colors and the way they work together it's so easy to create a really sophisticated matte smoky eye i love using these darker shades down here too for eyeliner so for example today i have all over my lids these two shades and on my lower lash line and then i have these two shades on top of the perfect brown liner smudged out and that's it that's so easy to get this kind of a look it has become a go-to staple of mine so quickly i just absolutely love it the redkin invisible dry shampoo fragrance free i got this per um smlxo's recommendation she knows what she's talking about and pretty much everything she suggests i buy and i'm never disappointed and this is one of those things the way she used it is how i love using it also and she she uses it on clean, freshly washed hair. Rather than correcting greasy hair, it's gonna be more preventative, which is like my motto for life for all things, including like Botox and fillers. You wanna be preventative rather than corrective. It gives you great volume at the roots, but also as your hair starts to get oilier, this prevents it from looking oily because from the first day, it's helping to absorb any excess oil that's sitting on the hair. I anyways wash my hair like maybe once a week so it's not really extending my hair washes in between but it is giving me again volume and it makes my hair look a lot fresher for longer this is so lightweight it feels like nothing it doesn't leave a powdery residue and it also doesn't leave buildup or residue on my scalp which for me is a huge huge thing because I have seborrheic dermatitis so my scalp is really temperamental and this has been great let me know in the comments down below what you you have been loving recently so I can have some more beauty finds to check out but until my next video thank you as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you soon bye